Give me some time, give me some time to get stronger. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome. My name is Emily, and I do cleaning and home organization videos. I am a mom to a toddler boy. He will be two in July, and he is an absolute blast. But as you can see, mom life is messy. So we are going to tackle another room today. So I started this deep cleaning series. Um, just to tackle all of the rooms that really needed to be super deep cleaned. I mean, all of them need to be touched, but um, I just wanted to make a series out of it and focus on one room at a time. This is episode two. So in today's episode of what do we need to stop neglecting is our living room. Um, this is a downstairs basement living room. Um, so we're going to be doing a deep clean of this bad boy today because it needs it. So as always, I start with a quick tidy and I make sure I start with a blank canvas, so I'm just picking up everything that does not belong so that I have room to focus on what needs to be deep cleaned. So, let's get started. Uh, it's probably too late, but here I am reaching my arm out. I want us to win the struggle we're in. It's never goodbye, it's never goodbye till it's over. The first thing that I did after I got everything kind of tidied and picked up and put out of the way was remove all the covers off of my couch cushions. Um, that is one thing that I needed to do. I usually try to do this at least once every other week, but um, sometimes it does get kind of, you know, put on the back burner and it just doesn't get done. So I am glad that this sofa, the covers do come off. They are super easy to wash. However, we have had this for like two, two and a half years now. So I do want a new sofa because the cushions are, the covers are starting to wear out a little bit. Um, not from washing them, just from overuse. I slept on this sofa probably my entire pregnancy because I was so humongous. Um, I gained like over 80 pounds with Malcolm, so I definitely was uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, but besides the point, we're going to go ahead and start with the um, cushions because I wanted to make sure they were done and dry by the time I was done cleaning. So I did go ahead and put the scent beads in here. I use these mostly for blankets, the dog beds, and um, my couch cushion covers. I don't usually put them on our clothes, but um, I am absolutely in love with those. So if you haven't tried them, definitely do that. So come back to love. Okay, y'all can't judge me. If you have a toddler, you know um, they like to stash food places, and I have recently discovered that we are getting little ant friends um, visiting us. So I decided to deep clean the living room as soon as possible. Um, but when I pulled the cushions off, I was amazed how much snacks and goldfish and veggie straws were under my cushions. It was pretty gross. So I picked up the big chunks and then I just kind of went through with my Dyson and vacuumed the rest of it out. So hopefully the ants don't come back. I do have another option that I'm going to try to stop the ants in their tracks. But maybe this is a pretty good start. So far so good. It's been a couple days since I filmed this and seems to be working. I was never the one to give up the ghost. No, I was so stuck. I kept on playing my part. Wanted to give up because nothing was changing. But with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my life. Okay, so official tip number one of this deep cleaning series today is to work top from bottom. If you have a ceiling fan, dust that puppy off first. Vacuum it, dust it, wipe it down, whatever you need to do. Do that first because there is going to be fallout that's going to fall on your sofa, it's going to fall on your floor, and it's going to fall on your shelves. So work top to bottom anytime you're deep cleaning an area so that way, again, it doesn't fall on areas that you have already cleaned. So top to bottom, tip number one. And I think to myself, and I'm thinking out loud, we won't need nothing else for the rest of our time. And I know it so well, I will always be by your side. Up 
all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free, I'm a sweet baby the chase cushion cover is a pain to get off and I'm afraid that I'm not going to be able to get it back on so I'm just using the carpet cleaner um, machine to clean the chase cushion and then I'm going to go ahead and clean the storage ottoman top as well because it doesn't have a cover that could come off of it and then I also vacuum out the inside of my storage ottoman. I wanted to be super thorough with today's cleaning and that's I feel like something that I don't usually do if ever because it just holds blankets. Um, but it definitely needed it, so I'm glad I got around to it. Sing, won't you sing with me? Leave everything for me. Stay the night. Oh, miss your flight. Shut the world out Let's hang out Oh, I used to see in colors Now it's gray Till I met you at the concert The other day The whole room lit up With warm, sunny Dusting the shelves and cleaning all of this off probably took the longest out of any of the projects that I did in this whole video. Um, a, I'm short, so I had to stand on the arm of the sofa to reach the upper shelves. And B, I just have so many like pictures and things that had to be cleaned. Honestly, I don't want to dust again for the rest of my life. Like, it's, I hate it more than the dishes. Like, is that possible? I don't know. Do you guys have any tips on like dusting? Because I feel like it should be funner than this, but it's really not. I don't know. Help me out. The concert the other day. I do, however, like the part where I can rearrange and kind of redecorate a little bit. It just makes it feel a little bit more fresh when you can do something new. Even if you're reusing the same items, um, like I just moved all my pictures on one shelf up top and then I had my decor pieces on the bottom. Um, just a little bit of a switcheroo made it feel a little bit, I don't know, more, more new, I guess is the word. Also, my child can now reach the TV and lick it. Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door Alright, so working top to bottom I did the ceiling fan first And then I went to the bookshelves 
Now I'm cleaning off the ledge and the windows, so any debris that's on the ledge or anything that comes out of the window tracks that might fall on the floor, I'm going to go ahead and clean the floor last. So I really wanted to get done with this because I love vacuuming. I have no idea why. It is my favorite thing to do. It just is so satisfying. Um, let me know in the comments down below what your guys' favorite part about cleaning is, if you have any at all. Um, I know it's kind of a sensitive subject, cleaning, because a lot of people don't like doing it, but I don't know what it is about vacuuming. It is just, it's so good. I just, I love it. You don't have to do one single thing. You don't know how much I want you. Just looking at you makes my whole world spin. And please excuse my very unorthodox way of moving furniture by myself. I was very exhausted by this point and just being super lazy. <laughs> The holy grail of ball pit balls. Ta da! That's where they all went. I'll put the TV in the room. We'll have a Netflix marathon. Kenny G saxophone. We'll order in a bunch of food. Okay, so I mentioned this in my bathroom deep cleaning video, um, but this is just the spin mop. It's it's a, I don't know exactly what brand it is, but it's kind of like a knockoff of the like oh, cedar spin mop that everybody uses. Um, this one was cheaper, it came with way more parts, like um, extra mop heads and stuff. Um, and it was a cuter color, so I got this one, but I love it, and as you can see, I even used it to dust the bottom part of the sofa table, because I didn't want to get down there with a Clorox wipe. To your eyes, I see we're out of time. I guess no one's to blame, nobody crossed the line. I guess we couldn't see, somehow we couldn't feel. Maybe we rose so fast, maybe. Alright, so I had to wait until after nap time to finish cleaning because I was waiting for the dryer to be done. So Malcolm is now awake and he is helping me out and being so, so very helpful getting in the way, but I think it's absolutely hysterical to watch him in a time-lapsed <laughs> video because <laughs> he's just so insane. Um, but anyways, I'm just putting the covers back on the sofa. They smell so good after being washed with those um, scent beads. Like, for real, those scent beads have changed my life. So if you guys haven't tried those and you don't have any, like, sensitivities to scents, I recommend the blue kind especially. It just, it smells so fresh. Um, and it just makes your house feel and smell so nice. I say this all the time, but, like, it's really true. Like, if your house smells good, it feels cleaner. And that's kind of, like, my cheat sheet way of, like, cleaning a house. But... For real, light a candle and your house feels ten times cleaner. It's just, it's fact. So, don't blame me. But I still miss the way, the way you used to feel. Maybe we rose so fast, maybe we got too high. Yeah.
few of the last finishing touches that I had to do was put the blankets back in the storage ottoman. I replaced the baby's toys back in the, as you can see, he's insane. He's crawling oh, inside the ottoman. This kid, I can't. He's exhausting. I love him. He's exhausting. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, the next video will be another deep cleaning series, probably of my bedroom and or Malcolm's bedroom. Um, so stay tuned, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and we will see you next time. Bye!